Welcome to Christmas Day at the Mozarts. Um, the time is now, well, I say Christmas Day, it's in the afternoon now, one minute past, one minute past 12. Uh, Angie's cooking the dinner. We've got my brother, his wife, and his daughter coming around. Um, so it'll just be those three, me, Andrew, and Max. My job this morning, uh, by the way, no presents, because me and Angie haven't bought each other presents for about 10 years. And uh, what we do with the family is we put all the money in a pot and go out for a meal in the new year, January. So no presents. And as you probably see, there's no Christmas tree in the room. The only thing that's Christmas is those lights that I've just wrapped around a pole. That's it. That's, that's Christmas. Is there anything else Christmas? A few Christmas cards up there. We don't even send Christmas cards. I usually send a digital uh, text message to everybody. Here's Max. Just, he just got up? No, he just got up. It's 12 o'clock and he just got up. He's opened his presents, but he actually opened his presents about three weeks early, didn't he? Do you want to tell the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what you got for Christmas? No, okay. <laughs> Normally, we don't. We're a very private family, as you know. We don't. We don't put everything on Facebook or Twitter. Um, but uh, we thought this year, we have a special Christmas, we'll actually see behind the scenes. It's uh, there's Owens there. She is actually dressed at last. Um, what are you cooking there? Or what are you cutting? Parsnips. Parsnips. So we have definitely got parsnips. The rumours are true. There's some potatoes there I see. Just cooking away. Just simmering there. Lovely. They're ready for roasting. They're ready for roasting. And I see you've uh, got a bag rather than a net of Brussels. We've actually got two bags of Brussels. All going to plan. We're running on time. Running on time and you're being helped by a large gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. So before I set the table, um, I better go in and find out what my son's up to. He's playing loud music in his room on Christmas morning. There he is. That's awful. That's just terrible. Please stop. Max. Stop it, it's awful. It's not. No, have you got uh, Heaven's Cry? No. You have. Please play Heaven's Cry. It's my favourite record, Max. Please play Heaven's Cry. Signum, what you got for me? Anything by Lee Pash. Quick update in the kitchen. Wife has cut herself with a new knife. Oh, look at that, this blood. That is genuine blood. Cut yourself with a new knife. We bought a set of knives the other week. There they are. They're very new. She's been cutting up parsnips. So maybe we can get away with it. People think it's cranberry sauce. Right, I've got to set the table. I've not got enough chairs, so I'm going to have to use two of the studio chairs. Embarrassing, but they are red, so they should go with it. Right, the table's set. Uh, had a few issues. One was the tablecloth was uh, not big enough for the table, so I've had to put it that way. Two is, uh, like every, I think, household in Britain, we'd only got four chairs and we've got six guests, so I've had to get the office studio desks, which are a bit manky, down. So we'll put the uh, young children on the end there. So we've got this, uh, I think it's champagne. Crackers are ready. Guests have just texted and said they're going to be 20 minutes, so we're just, uh, how's the dinner going on? Dinner? Hello? Good. Is it nearly ready? <laughs> no. No. How long for dinner? What time are we going to be eating? 1.30. 1.30. So we're going to be eating at 1.30 and the time is 12.30. There they go. Taylor, Serena. He's quite ugly, but he looks a bit like me. It's Shane, my brother. There he oh, is. That's nasty. That's right. Where's all the presents? They're in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Angie's, ready? Angie's opening the... Uh, Jump out, there it goes. All Perfect. That, all that worrying and being sick. What you should do in, to make it really cheesy, when I come over there, we all turn around and say, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> well, 
Dinner's Ooh. over, it was really nice. Uh, the beef was cooked to perfection by Angela Jane Mozart. Very good, we've all um, done our crackers, we've all got uh, jokes, and uh, I actually got, uh, which I've been after for years, uh, a shoehorn. So uh, I've got a tricky pair of shoes, I'd like to try, try them later. So we've got jokes as well, as well as the party hats. And are you going to start with a joke? Yeah. Read it in your best voice. Why are brides unlucky? I don't know. Why are brides unlucky? Because they never marry the best man. Shane, what you got? Um, uh, why was Cinderella no good at football? I don't know. Why was Cinderella no good at football? Because her coach was a pumpkin. Taylor, what you got there? Are you going to read yours? Why are ghosts so bad at lying? Why are ghosts so bad at lying? No, why are ghosts so bad at lying? You can see right through them. Serena, I think you've got a really funny one. Go on. Which players can't you trust in an orchestra? Which players can't you trust in an orchestra? That's a tricky one. The fiddlers. Max, <coughs> you got a funny one? What does a vampire have for breakfast? I don't know. What does a vampire have for breakfast? Ready neck. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, we're going to we got to pudding to come. What we got for pudding? Hot chocolate fudge cake and ice cream. Then we're all going to lay on the sofa, watch the Christmas top of the pops. Is it on? Got to be. Gotta Queen's be Beach. Queen's Beach, and then some parlour Queen's games. Beach. We'll play charades. Right. Play a game time, shall we? Tradition. We, we're going to be playing parlour games later, but I've got the board games out that we got for uh, Christmas. Articulate, not sure about that. I've got the Starsky and Hutch, uh, Starsky and Hutch detective game, that looks good. Um, what we've got here, we've got uh, Mike Reed's pop quiz game. Might play that later tonight. I've uh, got Derek Griffiths and Bend Out Shape, or Bent Out Shape. It's a good one for Gay Darren. And then the one that Shane's desperate to play is, of course, Blankety Blank. So uh, I think we'll have a game with Blankety Blank. Shane, how's that uh, shoe on coming out? Oh, he's got oh. new shoes for Christmas, and thank God we got that, that shoe on out of the cracker. Are they coming off? They're, they're coming off. off. They're off. They're off. Oh, look, there you go. Oh, is it off? That's off now. But do, do, yeah, but what about putting it back on? I think that's what shoe on is really for. Oh. Go. Let's get that shoe. There you go. Use the horn. Use it's, the, it's in. <laughs> Why on earth do you do this? Well, watching the television and seeing everybody suffer. Nobody seemed to be doing anything, so we've done it. Or awesome. Santa. Good luck. Mm. Oh, Santa. Oh, no. Sorry, Jack. Oh, what can you do with a general who retires? <laughs> well, don't you? Things are a bit bleak at the moment. You bring us 15,500. You're playing for the statue, the furniture, the holiday for Fort Portugal, thousand pound cash, plus a jet ski. Range is 2,000 pound. Your final bid is 15,500. You can't go one penny over. Good luck on this, Jeanette. Okay, Jeanette. The actual price of your showcase today is. through me again Ange. Every time, every year, every Christmas, your Brussels, they do it to me. I have them at dinner time and they go straight through me. 